Visit ZombieGoBoom.com for K-Bar, Cold Steel, Ivan Targets, and more. When the zombie apocalypse arrives, will you survive? Zombie Go Boom. Kick undead ass. Hey, what's up, survivors? Welcome to another mind-blowing Zombie Go Boom unboxing. We have some exciting stuff to show you, guys. It's awesome. Basically, Shrade, really awesome company, sent us this huge box with a bunch of stuff, plus these two we will talk about, and some other companies, K-Bar and Cold Steel, sent us these, so we will be talking about those. Shrade, oh wait, no, that one is Cobra, sent us that. It's a nice is, little Wakazashi. We'll see how it does. Yeah, this one's not too bad, not too bad. It's on the site. We're going to do some modifications. Caleb had some ideas to modify this particular sword, which will definitely help the ergonomics. Um, but it's not too bad, you know. It should be able to do some damage once we sharpen it. Um, things that have come to us that are just sharp, really sharp, is usually, you know, when we get knives like these, Shrade, very sharp knives. This is actually Smith & Wesson, but it's made by Shrade. Um, cold steel, really sharp. Out of all of them, though, as far as like in the box, we have to be honest here, because we don't feel right if we're not honest. K-Bar, out of the box, sharpest knives. I mean, they sharpen them themselves, they hand sharpen them, they don't just machine sharpen them and then send them. Which is still amazing. I mean, all of these things are ridiculously sharp. That one, not so much. This one, ridiculous. And that's just a little, a little taste of how awesome that thing is. Um, what do you think about that Waka Sashi? Do you want to talk about it? I mean, I don't really know how it's going to perform. Uh, don't really know much about the steel. Uh, it's slightly flexible. Yeah. It's not really that sharp. It's got like a 45 degree angle down the edge, which and I'm not too keen on. It's not too expensive though, which is something good to know. Also, it's, you know, we were talking about it. It's not bad. It's light, which is nice. Yeah, you, you could dual wheel. Two of those, yeah, I mean, no problem. Which is which is a, a good thing to have. It is a little bit blade heavy, not by very much at all. Usually, when you have a sword, the closer it is to the guard, the better it is. Um, the balance, I mean. But that's not bad. And then the I don't know how I feel about the handle. You know, it's it's okay. It's rubber, so it gives some, but it's also square which is a little bit tough. Of course, like I said, Caleb has some ideas to fix that. We will go through them. It's also like a hand and a half sword, so you can use it two-handed. Uh, the only problem with that is, you know, the blade's a little short for, I think. I think, I think this blade would do well for like a, you know, a ninja or something like that. Yeah, Maybe. just an assassin. It's very quick, it's very light. It'd be very, very cool. good at, uh, uh, Killing zombies indoors, you know. Oh, you, for sure. You know, because it's the blade short and light. Yeah. You know. And I have uh, some other blades I can show you that are very short and light that are very cool. I wish I had them with me. They're in my apartment. But anyway, we'll do some more of these unboxings. We have a lot of really cool stuff. You guys are going to love all of the stuff that we're going to be showing you. And uh, the scabbards. Pretty nice. I like it. Here you go. So, let's move on. Now we have this cold steel double agent one and this thing is pretty freaking crazy uh, basically it's not like any other knife I've ever wielded um, kinda I mean it feels like you're holding brass knuckles you obviously aren't since I mean you kind of it's deadlier if you're like a velociraptor essentially it turns it, you into one. Hold it reverse grip. Reverse grip? That's cool. I think that's a lot more frightening. Yeah. Now, these little blades, it's, it's going to be really, really difficult to kill a zombie with 
little blades like these stabbing in through a head as you guys already know if you you know have watched any episodes of ours it's very difficult and in the walking dead you usually see a lot of people just like stab right through the forehead with ease uh, no not really um, you do want a folder though but not necessarily for killing zombies more for like survival things you know whittling um, cutting meat, things of that sort, you're going to need one of these. And, uh, but as a last ditch effort, it's, uh, it's good to have a folder that, that works against a zombie. We'll try these out against the Ivans, but uh, just so you guys know, these are not exactly made for killing zombies. Different tools have different applications. These are more for survival. Right. Now, let's move on to these. Smith & Wesson straight, basically made by the same company. Um, but, uh, I think Schrade licenses the name Smith & Wesson and creates something that's similar, not exactly the same. The Smith & Wesson branded ones are a little bit better, usually, and because uh, uh, they sell a lot of different things, right? So basically, they're both really nice, they feel good, they're uh, they're not gonna, you know, fall and break. Um, they're made from something different. This is some kind of plastic composite, and this is aluminum, probably. Um, yeah. And uh, the chipping is good. The the grip feels good. And what's cool about these is that they're spring-assisted knives. So you just give it a little bit, and it gives you the rest. So if you put it on fire. And you just either click here or click here, just springs open just like that, okay, which is awesome. Um, the spring seems a little stronger on this one. You want to try it? Just do both of them at the same time, you'll really feel it. Deploys a little bit quicker. I yeah, think. yeah. Let me try it one more time. Okay. Yeah. This one's easier to deploy, and it deploys some mm -hmm. quicker. So. And the blades are, you know, they're a little bit different in style. Um, but it's basically the same knife. I'd say the Smith and Wesson, Wesson one is a tiny bit better. So now we're gonna open this box. Charles and I have no idea what's in here. Basically, it was James talking to Schrade, and Schrade just sent a bunch of stuff. So um, we're gonna be just as surprised as you guys are. So if we say something wrong or whatever, just feel free to comment in the section below. But don't be. Don't be a dick about it, all right? Now, let's get started. We're really excited. It was really fun. Um, working at Zombie Go Boom, a lot of times it's like Christmas, you know? And it's not even fall yet. It's not even summer. Is it summer? It's not summer. Uh, it's spring. It's spring. It's spring. Safety is number one priority, okay? Three packing supplies. Yes. All right. Some boxes. Some boxes. Let's start with the small ones. I think I already know what this is. That's oh. right. Okay. One we did know about because James had already told us about. This seems like just a normal, you know, handlebar that broke off of a bike. But in actuality, the baton and wow. this thing is not supposed to be lethal okay it's you know the police use it to beat people up and the crazy thing is when you hit somebody if you hit somebody in the arm you're gonna break the arm if you hit them in the leg you're gonna break the leg so yeah it's not lethal at this point but if you hit their head it's gonna break their head. These things are ridiculously strong. I'm going to go on record and say that these will definitely make a zombie go boom. Do you agree? 
Have well, you gotten a wheel that at all? Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll definitely hurt a lot. Oh. Oh, I think you're gonna be seeing some serious blood come out of these. And, uh, yeah. This and one has a sweet little case. Yep, so is this one. I didn't take it out. Right. That's awesome. <coughs> Excited about that one. So I know you guys have been straight. asking for that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Everything here straight. is straight. You guys have been asking for <coughs> these batons for a really long time. So whoever you guys are, get excited because that's freaking awesome. This is right. like Christmas. It is, isn't it? Yeah. That's why I was excited and you're like, uh, it's late. Well, uh, I've been up since like, I don't even know. Really? I, I woke know. up late today. You can do that Whoa. when you uh, make YouTube videos. This is actually pretty cool. It's not entirely true. Oh, well, that's true. I pulled out. Rick a lot still of works a normal job. Oh, yeah, that's true. Hey, guys, please go to zombiegoboom.com and purchase all of our stuff because Rick would like to go full time here at Zombie Go Boom. And that would help. Okay? Alright. This looks to be like a <laughs> functional. Bayonet. Oh, that's oh, cool. That is cool. That's cool. I like that. It's, it's decently sharp. Let's say what kind of steel it is. No, not really. What about the other side? No. Oh. Some random numbers and letters. Yeah. Oh, cool. It's got a sharpening stone oh, on the back side. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. So you just like take that off. There's a sharpening stone oh, right there. Oh, yeah. Sh 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 Cool. For a knife that size, you generally want something bigger than that, but it comes on the sheet, so that's freaking awesome. Okay, now let's move on to the rest of the stuff. We haven't seen any of this. We have not. We knew about the batons. Don't know what's in here. You guys can look first. Oh, don't even look, Chuck. You won't even like it. No? Whoa, that's cool. It's kind of like zombie green. This is this. Whoa. Ah, it's a diving knife, it looks like. It's interesting. Hmm. Maybe. That's a very interesting knife. I've never it's got seen some anything very like that. tiny serrations on the front of the blade right there. Very, very tiny serrations. Just keep it still and I can see it. Nice. And it's got some other serrations on the back side, and it's got a what looks like a seat belt cutter or a rope cutter or something like that. Yeah. It looks, I think it's a diving knife, honestly. What does it say in there? I don't know. The, the, there's not even a, this flat spot here is not even sharp. It's called a water rat. It's a diving knife. The straight water rat. Um. Which is a registered trademark, by the way. Okay, your strayed water rat dive knife can be carried using the leg straps around your calves or attached to a dive vest. And then instructions on how to use the leg strap. Nice. It's a very interesting looking knife. I don't know how I feel about it. It might be a little too interesting for me. A little too interesting. <laughs> but uh, you can't stab with it. Obviously, it's not meant to stab. I mean, you could probably stab with it. <laughs> I guess. It's gonna be one of those like really weird stabs where the in. guy's like, you won't like go second in very far. Right? too soon. Um, what? You won't go in very far. No, you won't. Which is fine. You don't want to go in far when you stab but somebody. But as a survival tool. If you learn, well, yeah, as a survival tool, it's pretty good. Yeah. But if you know anything about like knife fighting, you only want to stab about three inches. Yeah. But that's. If you're um, being attacked. Yeah, if you're being attacked, don't, don't just go out and murder somebody. That's generally not a good idea. Generally. Oh, generally. <laughs> there are exceptions. No, I'm kidding. Don't murder kids. It's not good. Yeah, don't murder kids. Don't especially don't murder kids. Okay, so uh, the sheath is nice. It's uh, pretty much it stuck the there. Place. It locks completely. You can't take it out unless you press this little button right here. And then, even then, here we go. We're good. It's it's interesting. Do you want to try that out or do you want to move on? It's got those two little leg straps. No, I'm good. Let's let's try that. All right. Time. So pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty cool. I like, I like it. Feels good. 
Not necessarily my cup of tea, personally. You? Uh, it depends. It depends on the situation, you know. I like yeah. to I like to prepare for well, whatever situation I know. That's that very I'm true. Just like, if I'm gonna be diving on a super secret zombie, right? And it'd be mission, nice to know. There we go. That's true. And it'd be nice to know exactly how to use parts of this knife because it's just very strange. Um, I don't know. Maybe to pro I don't know. Well, I have to read more about this one. Well, and like I said, we don't know. We don't know what's gonna be in these boxes. This is to cut rope. Okay. In. I mean, as far as I know, it's not very sharp, though. That, it could be to gut fish, right? Could you gut it a fish with that? It could be to gut fish. I mean, totally. I don't know. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll figure it out. We'll know. Know. But like, if it is, but if it is to do something like that, then it would be helpful, obviously. Yeah. In a survival situation, fishing would be. You know, you kind of got to do it. Um, Whoa. This is cool. I don't want to like pull it the wrong way or not know how to take it out. Uh, okay, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Weird. I've never seen a sheath like that before. It's interesting. Hmm. And then, uh, The axe is uh, it's a bit forward, and that usually gives you more power. Um, it's uh, it's axe sharp. It's not knife sharp or tomahawk sharp, which is fine. You know, it's an axe. Um, this part looks like a meat tenderizer, but you can use you can uh, you can use it as that. You could also use it as a hammer. It's pretty neat. You know, if you want an axe on you, which is highly recommended in a, in a survival sort of situation, you'd want that. You can kill a zombie with it. Something like this, though, you'd probably want to keep around to cut wood and uh, make fires and, you know, make shelters because you can use it as a hammer and things like that. Backup, a good backup weapon, though. Good backup weapon. Yeah. Not your primary, but. Yeah. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Let's move on. Next box. Oh my god, another axe Whoa. sort of tool. This one is really cool looking. That one is pretty cool. Whoa! There's like a crowbar kind of pommel on it, which is pretty sweet. It's like a climb. Um, it is a tomahawk, I think. But I'm not 100%. It is. Nice. That like is cool. Thrower. Yeah. It's very sharp. It is a tomahawk. Obviously. There's a nice spike. What I like about this spike, ah, uh, wow. It doesn't go in too far. And uh, it doesn't have any kind of a weird angle. Some spikes get stuck. And there's not a lot of surface area. So that helps it not get stuck. Um, you should be able to just go kill shot, kill shot, kill shot, kill shot with this one. Um, it's shaped a little bit, like at least the axe part, just a tiny bit like uh, the Bud K M48, um, except it doesn't go down as far, which is good because we found that that was getting stuck whenever we tried it. So this is a little bit more tame, which isn't good. And uh, steel looks good, feels good. I like it. I like this one a lot. Hmm. Not too keen on the plastic handle, but the metal. What kind of plastic is it, though? It feels a lot sturdier than. Well, this is more is rubbery. It, is it polypropylene? I don't think it's polypropylene. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. You know, we'll put it through. We'll put it through some challenges. We'll let you guys know. Like some weapons, like we look at them at first, and we're like, "What the crap? This sucks!" And then we are completely surprised. And then some weapons, we look at them and we're like, this is badass, and then it doesn't perform as well. Some examples, uh, the Gunstock War Club performed a hell of a lot better than we thought when we saw it at first. And the Gladius Machete did not perform as well as I thought it would. And, you know, part of it might have been my fault. I tried my best. That's all you can do. But that would not be my weapon, 
obviously it did not work for me as well as I would have hoped. It was kind of a, it was a kill shot every time, but it you just have to work really hard for it. Um, next. A sheath, which is good. And then, oh, ooh, what in the world is that? Wow. Ooh, before I show the, the blade, you should feel this, man. Whoa. Yeah. It feels heavy. And it's, it feels like it's got something inside this pommel here. here. Oh, okay. Let's show you guys what the blade looks like. Nice. Whoa. That is sweet. Oh! That's what I just said. There's something inside the handle. Whoa! That's cool. It's a freaking oh. screwdriver. Oh set. my god, yes it is. That's cool. I like that. That is cool. We're going to be fighting for this one here at Zombie Go Go. My god, this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Are you, are you seeing this, Rick? What do you think, man? Yeah. Absolutely. God, this is so awesome. It reminds me of Jurassic Park. Yeah, yeah. Well, because of the the, the containers of DNA that were inside the the shaving cream. Mm -hmm. I mean. That's yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. Super sharp, ridiculously sharp, um, serrated right here. That's always good in a survival situation. This is pretty sweet, man. I like this one a lot. It's yeah. so awesome. If it's, I want to know if this is waterproof because you could put matches in there. It is. It, it is, is waterproof. It's got a little rubber grommet there. That is badass. Or a rubber. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. This is interesting. Hmm. That is interesting. I'm guessing. Cookery style. Yeah. Oh yeah, James was telling me about this. This has a uh, oh yeah a strap for for your no, that's for your leg. That is ba. So the shoulder it's strap. Not, there's one here. He was telling me about. Look, look. He said it was a cookery type thing. This is how this goes on. All right, hold on. Whoa! First of all, oh nice. There's a sharpener. Oh nice. Wow. There's a sharpener and a fire starter. You use the blade. And no, I was at the striker. That's the striker. Oh, that's the striker? Yeah. Yep. Woo! Whoa, that's badass. Nice. That is really nice. And the sharpener. This is super sweet. Well, some plastic with that. Really? Yeah. I'm going to try it. Whoa. Don't burn the camera, man. Those are some hot sparks. Oh, whoa. One more. That's sweet. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's move, keep going. So, let's put this back. If you want, you can. Well, let's see this. Very nice. I like it. I like it a lot. It's sort of a kukri style blade. It's very sharp. Feels good. The strap is cool. The fact that it has a friggin sharpener and the fire starter is, is uh, incredible. This way. Oh, okay. That makes sense why it's, the sheath is down here like this because it's a, uh, it's like, uh, what's that movie called? Um, the Book, the of, Book Eli. of Eli. Oh, it's this. Wow. It's basically what that is. Yeah. Nice. All right. Well, Charles get geeks out on that. We're gonna see what's in here. Last box, ladies and gentlemen. Dun 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 dun. We're gonna need a bigger boat. Ah, nice. Nice. Oh, I love this. So, unlike, okay, since this is Christmas, who do you think? Like, Shrade? Like, thanks, Shrade! Or it's like Santa Claus, like Santa Claus today? But, I mean, Shrade is Santa Claus today, for sure. Um, again, 
sharpener, fire starter. This one doesn't have any metal, but I've seen this. This is why I'm excited about it. I've seen this in uh, in a video on YouTube, actually. They use the knife itself to start the fire, right? Which is awesome. And uh, where did I put the, there it is. Survivors, it may not seem like they are extremely excited, but they are extremely excited. We are. Yeah. This is pretty freaking sweet. The problem with, uh, with what you might perceive as excitement is the fact that we have so many weapons like so many weapons there are everywhere just everywhere so like in order to get us excited it has to be something really really awesome because we've basically seen it all i haven't seen anything like this before it's can you, really sweet can you kind of hold it so we can really see a good shot of it because it's yeah. mostly a black blade it's awesome i've never seen anything like this I've never seen anything like that one. Um, out of out of all of them, I mean, besides the the, the spring assisted knives, which I think are just awesome, Schrade or Smith and Wesson, you can't go wrong with either of those. Um, this is my favorite for sure, for sure. Well, I don't know. Yeah, I like that thing. I don't know. We got a lot of really fucking awesome stuff. Sorry I cussed. I'm pretty see I am excited, Rick. What are you talking about? Man. Damn it. Let's cut it down. I love how it's forward. You get so much power out of it. Let me see it. And I think maybe this is the one that they were talking about that, that straps on, on your leg. It's kind of weird looking, but it's really cool actually. It's really it's comfortable. It and it's pretty heavy. So, I mean, it's got a lot of force coming behind it. Yeah. The heavier a weapon, the harder it is to recover, but the easiest, the easier it is to like get through a uh, zombie skull. Basically with this, you're just going to chop. You don't want to over swing with that. You, you don't, don't want to be like... <sighs> Yeah, crazy. And, th and, that, and that's basically the difference. That will probably make it through a zombie pretty easily. This one, not so easily. So, for that one, Charles can probably just go like this. If he overswings, and especially if he misses, he's going to have to recover. I need to swing hard with this one because it's so light, but if I miss, it's going to be a lot easier to recover. Um, so that's the main difference. So it really depends on what you're going for, like speed or strength. And that one's actually kind of like, that's awesome. That one's actually kind of like a mixture of both. It's fast, but it has some weight to it. So that, that's actually the kind of stuff that we love to find for Zombie Group Boom, because those are the kinds of blades that get through some skulls pretty easily. I do like the other one. You still have it strapped on. Oh, this this whole thing? <laughs> this, this whole thing. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. I like it. See, that's what we were trying to do the other day with your with the mole vest. We were trying to achieve that. Yeah. Well now, uh, the universe has spoken. And uh, any of you survivors, since you can't see me on camera, any of you guys would actually like to really take a tour of the oh, house that Zombie built, uh, which is the Zombie Go Boom studio, which you're kind of in right now. Uh, we would love to show you, like, well, not love to show you where all the weapons are, but just the multitude that lay about. So is that it? That's it. A falling blade has no handle, okay? So if you drop a blade, don't do that. Don't catch it. <laughs> yeah, and my feet are like right there. <laughs> so always be safe with your blades. Yeah. You don't want to like 
yeah. Paula Executioner. That's the first thing my dad taught me. If you're holding a knife and you're walking fast or slow, hold it so that it's not pointing towards you and uh, hold it so that it's not pointing toward other people. If you think of it like that, you basically have it here and that's safe. That's why whenever you run with a sword, you, you want it to back. either be down like this or like way up here like this. Yeah. Don't run with a sword like this. Don't run with it out like this. <laughs> Don't run with it like this. Yeah. Because you could uh, easily, right. or you could trip and fall, bam, the sword, I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. You don't want to... Accidents I mean, happen whenever you're going really fast. Right. Like the guy in World War Z that ran inside the plane, fell, and shot himself in the face. Or, or like the, uh, the executioner in that episode of ZGB, who was wailing like crazy, going really fast, and snagged his arm. Did you guys uh, watch that episode? Hey, watch this. <laughs> April 2nd, so <sighs> we need to get some sleep. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you want to see more of that, please comment in the section below. We're going to be restructuring the channel. I'll give you a little bit more information for you guys that have stayed this entire time. You deserve it. So here's something that most people don't know. Actually, nobody knows because I haven't talked to, I haven't talked about it except to these guys over here. And it's something that I just talked to, uh, talked about with James. And that is the second channel. It's gonna have ZGB Squared, the ZGB Report, some video game gameplay. What else is gonna be on the second channel, Rick? Um, survival hacks, uh, what's in your bag, uh, know your plan, uh, anything that's related to, you know, well, zombie go boom and survival of the apocalypse, yep. we're gonna do it. And daily Z logs as well. What's gonna go on the main channel, it's gonna be videos every single day, but we've realized that you guys on the main channel, what you wanna see is weapon tests and weapon videos. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the week on Monday with a weekly Z-log so that everybody can be updated on the main points that are going on in our channel. Then Tuesday, we're gonna be doing uh, top 10 so you guys can see some really cool stuff that you may not have seen before that has to do with heads exploding. Then we are going to do a survival video, but it's gonna be more about surviving with your weapons. It's not gonna be like, you know, how to start a fire or things like that. So it's gonna be survival videos about weapons, how to sharpen your weapons, how to take care of your weapons, only survival that has to do with like taking care of just whatever weapons you have. And that can range from bladed to bludgeoning to whatever, it's gonna be awesome. After that, on Wednesday, we are going to have a product review and torture test of an object. It can be a cricket bat, it can be a shovel, it can be a baseball bat, it has to be an object that you can use as a weapon. Maybe we'll do a golf club, hockey stick, things like that. And we're gonna put it through some torturous things and then the next day on Friday, right, are we on Friday? I've lost count. Okay, so Monday is the weekly Z-Log. Tuesday is the top 10. Wednesday is the survival video that has to do with weapons. Thursday is the object torture test. Yes, Friday is the object Ivan head test to see if it can kill a zombie after all of that torture. Then Saturday is the torture challenge and product review for a weapon. It can be this. It can be any of that, it has to be an actual weapon. We're gonna put it to the test, we're gonna cut stuff with it, we're gonna bring the bottles back, we're gonna bring the coconuts back, we're gonna have some uh, cardboard targets, we might destroy some zombie industry targets, maybe for some weapons we'll hit cinder blocks with them, stuff like that. And then the day after that, which will be a Sunday, is what you're always used to, and that's a weapons test against an iron head. So that way we're gonna have seven videos, every week so one video a day 
that involves weapons on the main channel and everything else survival and zombie related and just relating to our lives and behind the scenes is going to go on the second channel and we're super excited about this restructuring let us know what you think in the comments below basically all you need to know is you're going to get two ivan kills a week two ivan kills a week at the very least and then some really awesome content outside of that yeah that just all sounds too good to be true it's like so much zombie go boom your head's gonna explode well it's not april fools anymore so yeah yeah in fact we should title this unboxing uh christmas is early here at zombie go boom unboxing an early christmas unboxing an early christmas spring christmas spring, spring christmas spring spring Springs spring Christmas. I don't know what we'll title it, but it's going to be sweet, and the oh, thumbnail is going to be ah, sweet. I know. Actually, what we should title it. What's that? Free million dollars. Yeah, you can win a free million dollars if you watch this video. Yes. Yes, title it that. Okay. You can win a million dollars if you watch this video. How? We don't know how, but you, you, you can. Well, the reason why the like, title is that is because we said it in the video. That's, that's right. why it's relevant. Right. But so don't saying, complain and say something like, Where's my money? Yeah, where's my money? You didn't teach me how to win a million dollars. Hey. Well, technically, I don't know. Like, at we're one saying point, it's possible. It's possible. You can't. I mean, the chances of you winning a million dollars is pretty slim anyway. But watching this video isn't going to hurt those no. chances. It's lottery. definitely not going to hurt us getting a million dollars. I mean, they're not going to scratch off ticket or anything, so, I mean... No. Okay, how to win a million dollars. This has to be a tutorial. Do what you love to do every day and get better at it every day and don't quit and keep doing it every day. You will make a million dollars. There's a guy who makes money by punching holes in coconuts with his fingers. Yeah. I mean, if it doesn't matter you what do you that, pick. You can do anything. You really. can pick, you can literally pick anything. If you love, like, going to the bathroom, you can probably figure out a way to make a living doing that. Nato Gwen. See? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. We love killing zombies. We love video. We love film. We're figuring out how to do that. If you love working at McDonald's, there's nothing wrong with that. If you work there, own it. And you're passionate, you will move up and you will make a million dollars. Even if you decide that you love being a fry cook and you stay a fry cook forever, eventually, you know, you will Just have love it. gotten a million dollars. Maybe not all at once, but you gotta make love that shit. Bi weekly payments, you know? Huh? You gotta make love that shit. Make love that shit? Yeah. 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 I'm eating it. Uh, <laughs> what movie is that in? Anybody? Anybody a fan of Kevin Smith? Okay. Uh, I'm not either. Um, <laughs> that's all I have. I hope you like this unboxing. And uh, go and make your million dollars. We are going to do the same. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Yeah. There's might nothing. As, might as well. What else is there to do, really? Yeah. yeah. It's out and there. go to zombiegoboom.com if you'd like to help us make our million dollars. <laughs> Done? Yeah? yeah? Good? Yeah.